Hey folks, what's up? This is Evan from Stock Music Musician, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to convert your voice into MIDI with reason and not using any other plugins. This is a really powerful feature, especially if, you, especially if you're someone who can sing but can't really play instruments well, or maybe you just want to quickly like extract an accompaniment for your voice, or you've got samples and you're trying to figure out what key they're in, whatever it is, this really easy technique will have you transforming audio into MIDI in a second. Before we show you how to do it though, I do want to let you know that I've got a free cheat sheet that'll teach you how to use all the devices in Reason. There's a link to download it below. It's really helpful for learning Reason if you're new to it. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, we've got this vocal track here. We'll play it really quick. People tell me it's going to be all right. That's way better than I can sing, so we're not going to use me as an example. So you take the audio clip, which I've just imported onto the sequencer, although if you had recorded it there, that would be just fine. You right click it, and where it says bounce, you just simply click bounce audio clips to MIDI. Boom. Now let's solo this and listen. And it already it automatically creates a synth. You can change the synth out, but here's what it sounds like. So it's pretty accurate. It doesn't really have the vibrato as much and those features, but it's pretty close. So now let's consider these two as like an accompaniment, for example. People tell me it's going to be all right, but how much longer do I have to fight? When I so you hear that's very close to what it is. And this can be used on like guitar parts, on a piano part, really, your imagination is the limit to how you can extract the MIDI information from the audio. There's only one sort of shortfall to this, and this process really only works with monophonic audio. What do I mean by that? Sources that only play one note at a time. So if you just have like a guitar part going, da, 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 you're fine. But if you've got a guitar part or a piano part that plays chords, it just really doesn't work as well. So let's listen to this Rhodes piano sample I've got here. Playing uh, sort of a vamp there. So if we try this method and hit bounce audio clips to MIDI, let's listen to what this now sounds like. It's getting some some of the rhythm, but it's not getting really any of the melody. So that's a shortcoming of this, but like I said, when we sing, unless you're a Tibetan throat singer, you're only singing one note at a time, and this is a really easy way to convert your voice to MIDI to then do whatever else you want to do with it. I really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe, and don't forget to download that free cheat sheet so you can get up to speed on all reasons wonderful devices. Oh, and be sure to check out this next video because I really think you'll like it.